Diving into the cosmos with the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is like opening a book to the very first chapters of the universe. We're talking about a journey back in time, nearly 13.8 billion years. It's mind-boggling, right? The telescope, with its cutting-edge tech, has caught a glimpse of galaxies that were around just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Imagine that we're looking at the universe's cosmic dawn. Now the secret behind this incredible feat. It's all about the massive mirror and ultra-sensitive instruments. They're like super-powered cosmic binoculars, picking up faint infrared light. You see, as the universe gets bigger, the light from these distant galaxies stretches into infrared wavelengths. That's something even the Hubble telescope couldn't quite grasp, but JWS, it's tailor-made for this kind of cosmic detective work. And here's the exciting part. By studying these ancient galaxies, astronomers are piecing together the universe's early days. We're learning about the formation of the first galaxies, their evolution, and even getting hints about dark matter and the very first stars. It's like uncovering the universe's oldest secrets, but it isn't just about looking far, it's also about looking close, relatively speaking. It examines the structures of these galaxies, their shapes, sizes, and how bright they are. This isn't just cool to know, it's crucial. Understanding these features helps us figure out how galaxies come together and the complex structures they form in the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope can study the atmospheres of exoplanets. It's like James Webb is our cosmic Sherlock Holmes, uncovering clues about distant worlds. One of these worlds, a real showstopper, is WASP-96b. Picture this, a hot gas giant, about 1,150 light years away, it's not your typical neighborhood planet. So what's so special about WASP-96b? JWST took a really close look at its atmosphere, and guess what? It found water vapor, carbon dioxide, and maybe even more. This is huge. We're not just talking about random gases, we're talking about the building blocks of life as we know it. This kind of discovery is like finding a secret map to potentially habitable worlds. How did JDWST pull this off? It's got some serious gear on board, like the near-infrared spectrograph. Think of it as a cosmic prism, breaking down the planet's light into a rainbow of colors. This isn't just for a light show, it's how scientists figure out what's in the planet's atmosphere. It's like decoding a message from the cosmos. Now let's zoom out and think about the big picture. Finding water vapor on a planet so far away is like a sign pointing to the possibility of Earth-like planets out there. It's a game changer in the search for life beyond our solar system. Every discovery JWST makes about these distant atmospheres brings us a step closer to answering one of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone in the universe? You know, the universe is like this massive cosmic nursery chock full of stars being born. It's a process shrouded in mystery, or at least it was until the James Webb Space Telescope came along. This incredible telescope with its infrared eyes can actually peek through the dense clouds of dust and gas where stars are born. It's like having X-ray vision into the universe's star-making factories. Now let's talk about baby stars, or protostars as the boffins call them. These are stars in the making, just beginning their cosmic journey. They start out in these thick molecular clouds, collapsing under their own gravity. It's like watching a cosmic dance, with each step leading closer to a fully formed star. The telescope watches these baby stars closely, giving us a front row seat to their growth and the start of nuclear fusion. The process that makes stars shine. But wait, there's more. Around these young stars, you often find accretion disks, these swirling, spinning disks of gas and dust, it's from this cosmic dough that planets, moons, and other celestial bodies are baked. JST's observations of these disks are like reading the recipe book of the universe, showing us how planets and moons come to be. The action in these stellar nurseries is pretty dynamic too. JWST's got the tech to capture all the drama, gas flowing, jets shooting out, and winds blowing from these young stars. It's like a cosmic show, with each event playing a part in forming stars and planetary systems. And then there's the matter of what these nurseries are made of, their chemical makeup and temperature. This is key to understanding what it takes to make a star. JWST is giving us this information, helping us piece together the cosmic puzzle of star formation. Let's talk about something explosively cosmic, supernovae and their remnants. Imagine a star, not just any star, but a massive one, reaching the end of its cosmic journey. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope takes the stage, giving us a front-row seat to one of the universe's most spectacular fireworks. 
a supernova. So what happens when a star goes supernova? It's like a colossal cosmic explosion, bright and powerful, marking the grand finale of a star's life. But that's not the end of the story. What's left behind is a supernova remnant, a sort of cosmic aftermath. JWST captures these remnants in stunning detail, revealing expanding shockwaves and the material a star throws out into space. It's like watching the universe recycle itself in real time. Now why are these remnants so fascinating? By studying them, astronomers can unravel the life stories of stars, especially the big ones. We get to understand the events leading up to the explosion and the star's final moments. It's like piecing together a cosmic detective story where each clue reveals more about how stars live and die. But there's a bigger picture here. Supernovae are like cosmic factories, churning out elements like carbon, oxygen and iron. The stuff we and everything around us are made of. JGWST's observations trace how these elements are cooked up in the supernova and then scattered across the universe. We're talking about the very building blocks of life and planets. The aftermath of a supernova can be pretty wild too. Depending on the star's original mass, you might end up with a neutron star or even a black hole. JWST gives us hints about these mysterious objects often hiding in the heart of supernova remnants. It's like catching a glimpse of the universe's most enigmatic characters. And here's where JWST's infrared prowess really shines. It can see the colder, distant and dust-covered features of these remnants, stuff that's invisible in other wavelengths. This means we're getting a complete picture of a supernova's legacy. But wait, there's more. JWST can do time-lapse observations of these remnants. Imagine watching the evolution of a supernova remnant over time. It's like a cosmic time-lapse video, showing us the physics of shock waves and how the expelled material dances with the surrounding space. Have you ever heard of the cosmic web? It's this massive, mind-blowing network that basically holds the universe together. And guess who's giving us an unprecedented peek into this cosmic masterpiece? Picture the cosmic web like a giant spider web, but instead of being made of silk, it's made of galaxies, galaxy clusters, and these mysterious filaments of dark matter, all woven together across the vastness of space, and between these threads, huge cosmic voids. It's the grandest scale of the universe, and JWST is our ticket to understanding it. So how does JWST do this? It's all about its cutting-edge infrared capabilities. They allow it to see the faintest, most distant galaxies, ones that are so far away their light has been stretched into infrared wavelengths because the universe is constantly expanding. These galaxies are like the breadcrumbs leading us through the cosmic web. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. A big part of this cosmic web is something we can't even see, dark matter. This stuff is like the universe's invisible scaffolding. JWST's observations are key to mapping out where this dark matter is and figuring out how it influences the formation and evolution of galaxies and their clusters. Looking at the cosmic web isn't just about seeing the universe's current state, it's like a journey back in time. It helps us understand how the first galaxies came into being and how they were arranged in the early days of the universe. We're talking about unraveling the history of cosmic structures over billions of years. And then there's the whole thing about feedback processes. It's like a cosmic conversation between galaxies and the space around them. JWST studies how galaxies interact with the intergalactic medium, the gas and other stuff floating between galaxies. This is crucial for understanding how galaxies grow and change within this massive web. Let's delve into something truly otherworldly planetary nebulae. These incredible cosmic phenomena that the James Webb Space Telescope is exploring in ways we've never seen before. Think of planetary nebulae as the grand, colorful final act in a star's life. When stars like our sun get old, they puff out their outer layers, creating these stunning shells of gas and dust. And they're not just pretty to look at. They're a key part of the cosmic cycle. Now, with its amazing infrared vision, is like a cosmic detective with X-ray specs. It can see through the dust that often hides the heart of these nebulae. This means we get to see the intricate structures and compositions of these celestial objects in exquisite detail. It's like uncovering a hidden treasure of the universe. But why do we care about these planetary nebulae? Well, they're like the storytellers of the universe, narrating the final chapters of a star's life. Studying them helps us understand what's in store for stars like our own sun. We get to see how they shed their outer layers and what kind of cosmic legacy they leave behind. And it's not just about the stars. 
It's about the stuff of life too. Planetary nebulae play a huge role in spreading elements like carbon, nitrogen and oxygen across the galaxy. These are the elements that make up planets and, well, us. So by studying these nebulae, we're learning about how the building blocks of life are sprinkled through the cosmos. But here's the thing, every planetary nebula is unique. The observations show us this incredible diversity and complexity. We're talking about symmetrical patterns, intricate filamentary structures and a kaleidoscope of colors. Each one of these nebulae is a cosmic work of art, and they all have a story to tell about the physical processes that shape them. In a way, JWST is not just showing us these amazing sights, it's helping us piece together the life story of the universe, one planetary nebula at a time. And let me tell you, each revelation is more fascinating than the last. The universe is a gallery of cosmic wonders and we're just starting to explore it in all its glory. And as always, we hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks for watching.